video. They said guess up to 20 questions. <laughs> guys, don't <laughs> guess 25 questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's amazing to see you guys again and I'm standing in front of the bee dome. It's my last seven days on campus guys. I mean, so today I'm going to go back down my memory lane. I'm going to go back to May 2019. That's when I gave my bits at and my bits at was an amazing experience and I had a really, really good percentile during my J mains. It was around 99.2 percentile. I mean, I was getting NIT through GEC with my J mains percentile but again I, my parents were like you know you should give Bitsad as well because Bitsad is a really really good college so I went and I gave Bitsad it was around it was the morning shift and and I had absolutely no idea about the bonus questions until I went to the examination hall so that's when there were people discussing like okay there's something called bonus questions I mean if you get all your questions right which means you'll be given a chance to attempt 12 extra questions towards the end so that was brand new news for me because in J mains there was no concept like that at least in 2019. So, so I started off the normal routine the way I normally start. I started off with chemistry and so generally the way I solve a competitive exam is I solve it in two different rounds. So the first round I solved all the easy questions. So whatever easy questions it were like I was pretty decent at chemistry because I had studied it really really well and I was pretty good at organic, organic and physical. And I had gone through all the named reactions in NCRT and I was pretty good at problem solving when it came to physical chemistry. And during my time we had 150 questions so it was 40, 40 and then 45 and then 25. So it was basically physics, chemistry is 40, 40 each and maths used to be 45 and logical reasoning was 25 questions. But now the paper pattern has changed so you need to look through that as well. It's become 130 questions. I remember marking a few of the questions for review. So this is one of the important things to do since if you don't know all the questions of a particular section, especially a particular subject, so it's best if you just mark for review and then you can come back to that question later instead of spending so much time on one specific question. So after I finished chemistry, I moved on to physics. So after in physics, there were certain questions which were straightforward. And as I look back, I remember that there were certain direct formula based questions, questions on kinematics and loss of motion. And honestly, I wasn't even expecting questions from those chapters. But then even an almost equal weightage was given to almost 11th and 12th as well. And there was questions from primitive chapters like loss of motion, there were questions in work power energy. These were direct formula substitution based, but at the same time, they carried a lot of weightage. So make sure you don't miss out on these questions. And as soon as I finished physics, I instead of moving on to maths, I moved on to logical reasoning. And this was the part which I struggled a lot since I did not have any practice in logical reasoning or I did not have any practice in English at all. Because I I was practically focusing my entire energy on J advance. And I didn't I solved very few number of mock tests during my J during my Bitsat preparation. And I didn't have any practice in logical reasoning or English. So this is where I screwed up, right? I mean, there were many questions which I, I was not able to solve. There were many simple questions in English, but I was not very confident in terms of vocabulary. And I didn't know like certain questions which were related to, it, was, it seemed a little complex, you know, like synonyms, antonyms, like there were few words that I, I had not heard of before and I didn't even know what to do in those cases. So I just randomly marked that. So I think I missed out there. I mean, there were many people who were not that good. I mean, especially as compared to even when I'm in bits right now. I saw many people in my branch whose JE ranks were significantly lesser than mine, but then they aced bits at. I mean, they really did really, really well because they had a much, much stronger hold when it came to logical reasoning and English. So please do not take logical reasoning and English lightly. This is the part where most of the people tend to ignore, especially people who prepare seriously for JE. And these they people, they tend to miss out on that and then they they, I know many people in my college, they got a rank of like 3,000, 4,000 in JE advance, but then they missed out getting computer science because they got a score of around 320, 330, around that range. So, especially during my time, since the bits of cutoffs were significantly higher, they ended up choosing electronics. And some of them, they definitely did enjoy electronics over the four years, but then at that point of time, they might have preferred computer science, if you think about it. So it makes sense to focus on each and every aspect. Solve as many mock papers as possible. Try to get maximize the score as much as possible, especially on things like English and logical reasoning. Do not miss out. And lastly, we came down to maths. And maths was generally my weak subject out of physics, chemistry and maths. But then even in Bitsad, the questions in Bitsad are significantly easier compared to JE mains. 
I mean, I was preparing a significantly difficult level of questions, but then questions were simpler as compared to JE mains. So you don't have to stress out too much about that. But at the same time, there are 45 questions you need to solve. So 45 questions is a lot of questions. I mean, during my times, JE mains had around 30 questions in maths. But now I think it's so you need to be as fast as possible and you need to be as accurate as possible. So make sure you focus on that as much as possible. I first I started off by solving all the easy questions and I did all the easy questions in around one hour and in the next round I solved the slightly medium and moderate questions and I I was able to solve it in around one and a half hours and after that I didn't even know what to do. I was I was unsure whether I should go for the bonus questions or should I just leave it there and at the end of two and a half hours I had almost solved 136 out of 150 questions which means I had almost 15 questions to go and I didn't even know should I just randomly guess these questions or should I focus on minimizing the red, red, minimizing my mistakes so like should I try attempting the bonus questions and I went for it I, I randomly marked 15 questions and I opened the bonus round for myself and in the bonus round especially for me it was slightly on the easier side I mean in around 10 minutes I solved close to 6-7 questions so mathematically speaking I gained a lot of marks during at least my time I from the bonus section so I think bonus section is something everybody should look into especially if you're preparing seriously and if you're trying to get into a really good college and especially if you want something like computer science I think bonus is something you need to crack right I mean so try to get try to do bonus questions well and as soon as my exam got over my score flashed, flashed on the screen I got 340 out of 450 and I, I was happy about it because like 340 or 450 is a pretty solid score in Bitsat and I could have and generally you get computer science in Bits Hyderabad and for that score I mean that's or maybe Pilani Tripoli or Bits Go EC and and I'm doing Bits Go EC it's the end of my four years and I absolutely loved it and many people ask me like why didn't you get CS but the thing is that so to be very honest, I was also hoping that I was I would get CS and generally for a score of 340, you do end up getting computer science. But then I missed Bits, Bits Hyderabad computer science by two marks. In my first iteration, I got Bits Go at Tripoli and in my second iteration, again, I got I got Bits Go EC. So in my third iteration, I was hoping that I'll get Bits Hyderabad CS and but I didn't get it. But and I, I stuck to Bits Goa because I absolutely love the campus. I mean, if you can see around me, this is my last few days on campus and I'm absolutely loving it. I got a chance to meet so many different people from all over the country and I absolutely love my time over here. And at the same time, since I was interested in CS, I took a lot of computer science courses as well. Today I had my artificial intelligence exam, which I, it went decently well. And I took courses like DSA, OS, and I took courses like OOP, so which really helped me gain knowledge in the computer science aspect and I got to learn more about electronics as well. So I think it's good in, in certain ways. So all the best to you guys. Make sure you guys work really hard, practice as many mock papers as possible and do really, really well. And ho I'm hoping that you guys really, really do really well. And if you have any questions, you can put it down in the comments, whether it be related to branches or counseling or bits or tips and tricks. Whatever it may be, I'm ready to help you out. So all the best to you guys. Make sure you do subscribe and share it with your friends so that they can learn from the mistakes. And make sure you guys do not neglect logical reasoning in English, especially if you're someone who's preparing seriously for an exam like Bitsat. You, you should definitely keep that in mind and proceed accordingly. Trying to maximize your score by doing well in these easy areas like English and logical reasoning that'll definitely like impact your score a lot. I know a friend of mine, uh, He's in computer science and uh, and we had similar scores in GE mains and GE advance but in Bitsat he had a score of around 30-40 marks more than me and I asked him like how did, how did you get really really good marks in Bitsat and he was like my Eng I practice a lot in English and logical reasoning so I was like okay fine that that's where he got the advantage right so because since we got a similar score in both GE mains GE advance so that's the only thing Bitsat is different in and yeah, but guys, make sure you focus on all the four different topics and try to solve as many mock papers and give as many tests as you can, especially in the last few days. If you need any help of any sort, I can, I'll be there for you. I'm planning on go, going for YouTube live this coming weekend. Do let me know if you'd be interested and do post the questions down. I can take, take it up and I can definitely help you guys out. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye. Hey guys, we are Anirudh with us. Anirudh is a very pro ML guy on campus and he got a score 360 in Bitsa 2020. Right? Yeah. And this is Sukhruth with us. Sukhruth is a pro basketball player and he got a score 358. 
So, Sukhu, how many bonus questions did you attend? I mean, how many questions did you guess before going to bonus? Okay, so before going to bonus questions, I attempted or guessed somewhere around 20 to 25 questions. Okay. And the bonus questions helped me boost my grade a lot. Score a lot, so yeah. <laughs> True story. And what about Anil, how many questions did you get this week? I, I guess around 5 to 10 questions. And yeah, that, that's always a good idea to always go into bonus. Yeah, so I mean, I guess around 14 questions you get when you go into bonus. And there's a chance that you might go get negatives in that, but then if you do bonus questions well, that'll compensate for the mistakes that you make. All the best to you. Bye bye. What are you take selfie and you <laughs> The CS cameraman. <laughs> So, yeah. Now Hari Aryan will give some tips to get girls in bits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So step step one is <laughs> step one is find girls. <laughs> step one. Where brother? Where? <laughs> Not able to find. <laughs> step two is now bro, step Marar. one. <laughs> step three is step Marar get some creamy biceps. Creamy biceps. <laughs> Did you run bonus questions in this time? So how many did you run in this time? 5 to 10 Mega cap 5 to 10 Bro I guess 25 yeah 360 Yeah You got 350 I got 340 You guessed 25 Yeah And you didn't go as yes Like yeah I want your time Bro the thumb got you pray to No no basically like How many did you guess? I guess 15 I guess around No no the rule is If there is 20 or less questions 5 to 10 max so you think 140 Most of my guesses were in the bonus only You bonus Because I went to bonus then I was like fuck Like I have to guess It's almost a good idea to go into bonus Yeah yeah it's okay The rule is I saw some YouTube video They said guess up to 20 questions Guys don't guess 25 questions Okay that's a bit too much Don't believe these people Okay bastards I mean prepare at least you can You don't have to leave so many Prepare well enough you don't have to leave so many No bro actually you should prepare for English and GMAT